In 2008, Barack Obama raised more money than John McCain, the Republican nominee for the presidency, and he won the election. Four years later, he again raised more money than his opponents and won. In 2016, the story was different. Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton raised more money, but that didn't do much in swaying the votes in her favor. Republican Donald Trump beat her in the Electoral College. Trump was the single largest contributor to his own campaign. He donated $66 million, flew across the United States in his private jets, and hosted rallies in his resorts. According to filings released on December the 8th, Clinton had raised almost $1.2 billion from her own campaign, joint fundraising committees, and political action committees. Trump's total haul was a little more than $640 million. The Federal Election Commission, FEC, is the body responsible for monitoring campaign financing. There's six commissioners, and not more than three can be of any one political party. So there's never one political party that has four persons on the commission. I'm the only exception in 41 years, and I belong to neither of the two major parties. Uh, and I did not belong to any other party. I'm, a, I'm what we call an independent. And so they didn't, didn't know exactly what to do with me when I got on the commission. But uh, at least there's not more than four of any one political party on the commission at this time, and that's the way it's been. We do have uh, almost 400 people on staff, and uh, our budget is uh, approximately $80 million. And we review all of the files that, uh, filing that comes in by all of the politicians and by those who are asserting the, that a certain candidate should be elected. Individuals are allowed to donate a maximum of $2,700 to a presidential candidate per election, but can give much more to political action committees, a committee organized for the purpose of raising and spending money for politics. Well, super PACs are it's money, me. usually PACs that go uh, for independent spending. And independent spending means the money may be spent in favor of a candidate or not in favor of a candidate, but it's independent of the candidate. And there is an issue, and some people claim, well, uh, is how independent really is it? Uh, when you pretty much know where the candidate stands on these issues, and someone who has a lot of money um, decides they want to um, support your candidacy for a particular position. In the 2016 election cycle, super PACs, which can take unlimited contributions, put the most of their money on Clinton. She had raised $217 million from them by November the 28th. Trump got less than half that amount from super PACs. He spent less money than Clinton in the final weeks leading to the election. $94 million to Clinton's $132 million. His campaign also spent about half the amount Clinton spent on television adverts. It was in digital adverts that Trump outspent Clinton in the closing weeks. Five out of the $29 million the Trump campaign spent in the final days was in digital advertising targeted at voters in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Florida. He won all four, and with the victories, 75 electoral college votes. Trump's digital director said those investments were strategic in getting Trump the presidency. Hillary America, TVC News.